All right, welcome back to Life the Wild Ride. So you saw my last video, my fail on my cabinet uh, door trim work. Uh, so I decided I was gonna do a much simpler process, but obviously I got a lot on my mind, as you know. I'm actually still working down here in my dad's uh, workshop, and my brother's down here too, putting around. So I said I was just gonna do a simple butt joint, butt them together, use some pocket hole screws, and just keep it simple. Maybe, you know, ease over the edges with sandpaper or something like that. And then I'll router in a rabbit in here to receive the panel. So I measured my pieces, put one together, and I screwed up another one. So I was looking at the tape measure from the backwards. Instead of 11 and a half, I was at 10 and a half, so I was looking at the other way around. Uh, so another fail. Finally, I got one finished, although not finished, but at least put together. It needs to be sanded. Uh, but you can probably see the beauty in this wood, this tiger maple. It's not even sanded yet, and it still has a nice wavy shines in it. Almost like, I guess it's named that way because like the lines look like tiger stripes and stuff. Very pretty wood. <coughs> so, anyway, um, usually I'm pretty good at this stuff, but I really just messed up several times. But I'm, I'm going to be able to take this one apart because I didn't glue it. And I can still uh, use the two ends for the next one, and I can cut these ones down for two more ends. So I'm not going to waste any of this. This one here, I think my brother's going to end up taking. He said he wants to use it for a license plate cover. And uh, most likely he's going to be welcome to it because I'm not going to end up using it. So I'm going to go ahead and keep working on these and try to get one completed and put together. And show you what it looks like when we finally get one of these damn doors done. So stick around. We'll get one finished sooner or later. What I'm going to do now is I got a bit in here that I'm just going to cut the groove in here so it'll receive a panel. So we're going to go ahead and do that now and uh, see how it turns out. Basically what you saw me doing was, I didn't want to go all the way through, I got it lined up where I wanted it, I plunged it down into the blade and then cut it to the edge and then repeated that process until I made it all the way around. By doing that, this is what I ended up with, a little rabbit down in here that now that will receive a panel recessed in, so it'll be like a little raised uh, side, not a raised panel because the sides are higher. Um, but. That would be the way I'll do it going forward as I build all the rest of these. And what I'm going to do is have it all, get them all built, get the panels all cut to fit. I'm not going to fasten the panels in. We will paint the panels first because this is not going to be painted. I'll sand it all down and then we'll poly it so it's a nice shiny tiger maple. Where you'll be able to see all the grain and stuff. And the panels will be painted separate and then put in place. And that will save us having doing any cleaning or anything like that. So, uh, so far, that's where we're at. So another thing I got to do is, uh, if I don't make it all the way with the bit, it leaves a little bit of a little bump right there, and I don't want to have trouble putting my panel in. So I'm just going to use a chisel and basically um, shave that little bump down on all four corners really quick. So that'll be out of the way. Hopefully, it goes pretty easy. You don't have to take it completely off. Just enough so it's not in the way. So there, now I just got to measure for the panel to go in and uh, we'll get that cut and see how it all comes together. So I went ahead and measured a piece of thin paneling. It'll drop right down in there and that'll create our panel door. Like I said, we'll paint this first and then put it in so we don't have to worry about getting any paint off this here. All right, so now that I've got this figured out on the sizing, and that's what we're going to have, what I'm going to do now, I'm going to sand this down so you can really see that grain. What I'm going to do now is go and get a bunch of pieces and get it all ripped down, planed down, and cut down to size, enough so I can make uh, at least uh, five more of these. And then we'll have the doors all uh, for the upper kitchen cabinets on the bus. I've ripped out a bunch of pieces here, as you can see. 
plane them down, ripped them out. Now I gotta cut them to length. And I'm gonna cut one length off first. And what I'm gonna do to make it easier is I got it set up in here. I started to make the cut, made sure it was right where I wanted to be. And then I clamped in this stop block here. So now I can just take each piece, throw it on here, slide it up again there, make the cut. I can do a lot faster, I don't have to measure each piece. I can just chop off as many of these as I need to make as many um, doors as I need. So that's what we're gonna do next. We're gonna do the longer ones first, and then I'll cut the uh, shorter ones after I reset the stop block. All right, so I went ahead and cut out all my rails and styles and I just one piece short. But what I did is I took apart one of the ones I made a mistake on because there was pieces on there I can use. And so you can see it's already routed. So when I put it together, I'll make sure I put that in the right direction. So I have enough here for two, three, four, five more drawers and three, four, five. Actually, that's gonna be one extra for the kitchen area. Uh, so that's what I got. We'll start assembling these and get them all placed uh, put together But again, this is what they're gonna look like uh, When it's done, but I think we're gonna be wrapping things up here uh, pretty soon today So we're ready to go next time we come down assemble these sand them all and Slowly get the cabinets together now. These are just the doors You know, I already built one cabinet up there. I still have to build the cabinet that goes on the other side of the bus So I'm gonna actually have some doors made before the cabinets made so hopefully i don't screw anything up and everything goes together good all right you know how i don't like to waste stuff so i get these walls are all up and i know i had some scrap stuff left over of these um of the bead board i'm gonna turn it around backwards cut out a bunch of it and use it for the uh, cabinet doors you'll see what i mean i'm heading back over to dad's shop with my brother we're gonna put around because um, it's just too cold on the bus today, but I can use this scrap and again waste a lot less material and uh, Work on those door fronts, which they're gonna go up here is where they're going and of course, you know I got to make another one for this side Cabinet and then some for the bedroom area as well, but this morning it was zero degrees outside So it's not a uh, in the bus day as far as I'm concerned. We'll uh Head back inside to the shop. I just want to get some of the scrap stuff, see what I have. Okay, so as you saw, we just came off the bus, and these are scrap pieces left over from doing the walls in the bus. And again, to not waste any, I measured the panels that need to drop into those doors uh, are 6 by 12. So I took my tape, I set my fence up here at 6 inches. I'm going to go ahead and rip these all out, and then I'll cut them off at 12, and I'll end up with a bunch of inserts for my door panel. So we're going to go ahead and do that now. So I'm just going to do one first, make sure it comes out right, and then we'll do all the rest. So you saw me rip it down to width. Now I'm going to cut it off the length and see if this one will fit in the panel where we uh, in the door we need it to go. All right, so here it is. I'm going to go ahead and we're putting it upside down because I don't want to see the bead board on the cabinets. And let's see if it drops down in there okay. Yes, fits in perfectly. Uh, again, we're going to paint these before we put them in. This is going to be polyed so it brings out the grain of that tiger wood. And that's how um, we're going to do the doors. Again, using up a lot of leftover pieces so not wasting anything we don't have to. This will be on the inside of the cabinet. We might paint the whole back of this one color so when you open the cabinet, it looks uh, at least it looks a little bit better so i'm just going to measure each of these they should be the same and assuming they are i'm going to go ahead and 
make at least five or six more of these. Okay, looks like we're good to go. We'll go do the rest of these, and then we'll have them ready to uh, put together. Once we get the paint, which I ordered it, um, we'll be here in a few days, and we'll start painting these and get this project finished, hopefully. All right, so I got my one, two, three, four, five of them, which is what I'll need for the kitchen area, uh, and I got the panels put in. Uh, again, these are going to be painted before we fasten them. They're not in there to stay. They're just setting in place. But they are ready to go, and once the paint comes, I will paint these, and then I will glue them in as well as fasten, which will also help make the drawer fronts even more solid. So I think they're going to come out though really nice though once it's all done. Once these are painted and this is polyed, they'll be good to go. And we'll put some sort of door handles on them, and hopefully they'll all look nice. They still got some sanding to do, some fine tuning, but overall here is the cabinets for the kitchen. Well, I think I'm going to end this video right here. And once we paint them up and they're looking good, we'll probably show that in some other video. So have a great day. I'll put some links down in the description for you if you're interested in any of the tools I might have used. And if you have any questions on how I did this, I'd be happy to help. I'm certainly no professional, but I get by. Thanks a lot. And don't forget, life is a wild ride.